A Beaumont School District police officer says he was pressured to change a report about the assault claim of Jesse Haynes. The key testimony came in the second day of Jesse Haynes's trial. The special assistant for communications is charged with obstructing a public passageway. If convicted of the Class B misdemeanor, she could face up to 180 days in jail and or up to a $2,000 fine. She's charged with a blocked doorway at the administration building following a school board meeting last August. She said as the BISD attorney told her to keep internet journalist Jerry Jordan out of the room. School board member Mike Neal walked up to find out why, and there was contact between the two. Haynes claims she was assaulted, but no charges have been filed against Neal or Jordan. Late this afternoon, prosecutors finished presenting evidence and testimony. Tomorrow, the defense will take over. KFDM's Jennifer Gordy is covering the trial. She joins us live with new information about the testimony today. Jennifer. That's right, Kelly. Today, most of the testimony centered around the video, which you've shown. And Mike Neal and Jerry Jordan both testified that they did not assault Jesse Haynes. Now, the most compelling testimony came this afternoon from Corporal Juan San Miguel of the BISD Police Department. Corporal San Miguel said he was approached after the incident on the video, and he was approached by Ms. Haynes, and she said she had been assaulted by Mike Neal and Jerry Jordan. She took him back to the passageway and said she wanted to look at the video that was in the camera that was facing that doorway. Now, uh, San Miguel also testified that Ms. Haynes had no visual signs of being assaulted. He said he then filed his report. He said he was pressured by higher-ups in the administration to change parts of that report. When asked who that was who pressured him, he said it was his chief, Clydell Duncan. He said he was approached several times. He said he was also asked to write a letter of apology to Ms. Haynes, which he said he did not do. Upon reviewing the video, he also agreed with the prosecutor that had Haynes actually pressed charges, she might have been accused of making false claims against Neil and Jordan. The state rested this afternoon, and the trial continues tomorrow nine, at 9 here at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Reporting live in downtown Beaumont, Jennifer Gordy, KFDM 6 News.